The fabled day has finally come when they released the funny block man into Smash, and I gotta say, what a decision that was, because this character is not only super fun actually, not that hard to play, they're insane. They're very, very good. And when I say they're not hard to play, I'm not lying. That doesn't mean that they're not hard to master, because they're, I think they're gonna have one of the higher skill gaps in the game, like, like, I'm thinking, like, when I think high skill gaps, I'm thinking Peach, I'm thinking Pikachu, I'm thinking, uh, those kind of combo characters, I'm thinking Shulk. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think Steve's gonna be up there with those, the block management, the placement of the blocks, the minecart, all the traps that you're gonna have to lay. This character's, like, insane Duck Hunt, if Duck Hunt had, uh, all disjointed aerials. All of its moves comboed into itself. It had an up smash that covered half the stage that kills really early. And is just amazing. And that had had resources like neutral B. Like the amount that this character has is insane. Like there's nothing that they're missing. The only thing that's semi lacking with them is their even though the everything they have is disjointed, it's not really super like long range. So you can still get boxed out pretty easily, like if someone has an actual like very good disjoint like Lucina, like any of the sort of league, they're gonna probably out disjoint too. But it it's really it's not that big of a deal, I don't think. Like this character is very good. Their up smash, probably the most disjointed up smash in the game. The thing is actually insane. Like when I think of a good up smash, I think good killing, good good uh aerial, like get swan them out of the air. And, uh, good, good, like, just out of shield option, and that, this up smash is all three of those, and it's enormous. It's so big! I can't even, the down tilt is insane for ledge trapping, jab is insane for combos, down throw, you can combo into F smash, jab, you can combo into F smash, you can kill people at, like, I think, like, 50 if you have diamond at the ledge with jab F smash, it's insane. Like, this character has so much, and I haven't even, like, if this is day one of me playing it, like, this is the day one recording, and I haven't even gotten into, like, just using blocks, essentially. I've just been using the character's basic kit, like, resources, obviously. I've been using everything, really, except placing blocks, just because that's a lot. I'd rather learn the character first, know what they're doing, and then be really good at placing blocks, because, honestly, they don't even need it. Like, I, I've... I was destroying people today, and it, I know they're unfamiliar with the character, yada yada. But the point is, I wasn't even close to using this character to its full potential, not even a little, and I was still doing very well, because this character allows you to do very well, because the character is very good. They have, they have that, like, not too far range, but still range. They have, like, easy resource management. They're fairly fast, like, they're not super speedy, like, I guess they're like a medium speed. Uh, the recovery is godlike. With the, the glide, you can, it's like a snake recovery, you can be at like at the edge of the blast zone and then just up B at the edge of the blast zone and make it back to the ledge. Like you can kind of snap to the ledge from wherever, which is very convenient, unless you're like spiked, which like kind of sucks, but still the distance on this thing is pretty decent. I think it's like a bit further than the boost kick. May Actually, yeah, I think it's like significantly further than the boost kick actually, because boost kick actually kind of sucks. Or recovery move, but yeah, it's everything they have is good. Yeah, I don't think advantage is gonna be that big of a deal. Like they have uh, out of shield, like a confirm that they have out of shield is footstool, and then down there, and it kills at like 80. That's really good. They have up tilt into up smash, which kills at like 70 to 100 if it like the confirm still works. Like this character has so much, and it's day one, they haven't even been explored, and I think they're gonna be, like, a top tier easily. At worst, a low high tier if someone, if people can find, like, a very big problem with them and exploit it. Which I can see happening, but I, right now, from where I stand, I just don't know what it is. I can't fathom what it is, but I'm sure it could happen. But yeah, I always think highly of DLC, but this is by far the most highly I've thought of any DLC. They're not gonna be as good as Joker. Don't get me, I wasn't playing competitive when Joker was out, so I didn't really care. But yeah, I think I think this character is gonna be mega busted. Um, that's kind of really all I have to say. I'll make a, a deeper analysis video, like combos and stuff like that. I just wanted to get the word out there of what this character might be and uh, what you might be able to focus on. Like ledge trapping's a big deal, and just those easy combos to do 40 to 30% like for free.
Um, yeah, that's kind of about it. Also, I can go over patch 9 because they buff Pikachu, and that's just ridiculous. And I kind of like to go over some of the things in it. So if you want that, I'll do it. I might, actually. kind of sounds interesting. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Play this character. They're broken. More on them, hopefully. I'm, no, I'm milking it a lot, but I'm just kind of excited to play Smash again. I haven't really wanted to play the game, and this character's kind of got me loving it again. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, play Steve. They're broken. Buy the DLC. And, uh... Have a nice, lovely day, evening, afternoon, whatever time zone you're in. Just make sure it's a good one. See you later.